Welcome. The new Seek Ignition module simplifies the experience of integrating Seek Workbench into Ignition displays and server gateways. Ignition customers in manufacturing, mining, pulp and paper, food and beverage, and other process industries use Seek Workbench to rapidly find insights in their data. You can get going quickly by browsing to www.seek.com slash ignition, where you'll find a link to the knowledge base article that walks you through installation and configuration. Seek is installed as a module in the Ignition Gateway. You can see it at the bottom of the list of modules. Once installed, there is a Seek section in the bottom left with a Settings subsection where you can configure Seek. Let's take a look at how Seek integrates with Ignition. If I go to the Tag Browser in the Ignition Designer and right-click on a tag, I can see that there is a new Show in Seek option. I can select this option at any level within the hierarchy of tags and it will cause Seek Workbench to appear, loaded with any historized tags it finds at that level or below. In this example, I'm looking at an HVAC unit that has a chiller and a dehumidifier. I can now use all of the analytics tools that Seek offers. For example, I can quickly do a value search to find all the times when my return temperature exceeds 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The Ignition Historian data is accessed seamlessly, and the search results are shown at the top. As you can see, the engineering units are brought over from Seek, and in fact, the tag hierarchy is also available in the Data tab for all tag paths that are historized. Going back to the Ignition Designer, let's take a look at how you can leverage Seek in Ignition Vision screens. I've created a vision template for both the chiller and dehumidifier, and you can see that I've added a Show in Seek button to each template, which was available to me in the palette on the right side. I can configure the button with a few key properties. The Paths property dictates which tags will be shown in Seek when the button is clicked. Since I'm using this button on a template, I'm taking advantage of Ignition's property binding features to dynamically specify the tag path using an expression. I can also specify which workbook and worksheet that the tags will appear in on the Seek side. And I can control the display and investigate timeframes as well. For example, if I only want to, the last hour to appear in Seek, I can set the display start time to star minus one hour. The, the star or asterisk is short form for current time. To try it out, I can put my template in preview mode and click on the button to launch Seek. There are lots of great things you can do with your data in Seek. So visit www.seek.com ignition and download the module. You can use the embedded server edition to be up and running in minutes. Take a look at other videos in Seek University to learn more about Seek.